So I have been working on my journals that I made out of um, trash and scraps and all kinds of stuff. And I have been gluing in my collection um, that um, Shannon Green got us all started on as far as um, putting collections together, whether it be of like things or, in my case, I've been doing it by color. So I have a few of them done, so I thought I'd do a quick flip on a few of them that can maybe give you some idea of what you can do with your um, trashy journals. This would be a good opportunity to just throw um, different collections in there, whatever they may be, and it might be something fun for you guys to do. I found it a lot of fun. Um, this one obviously is my orange one, <laughs> and I won't go and explain everything. They're just basically things that I saw that caught my eye that reflected the color, and there's no rhyme or reason of uh, how I put them in here. I'm going to be leaving some, um, oh, I haven't finished that one, obviously. I'm leaving some spots um, for journaling, so some pages are quite full, others um, have a lot of empty spots, so that I can come back and, um, and write in. Or if I find some color, other pictures that I like that go with these colors, I will have plenty of room to... Um, to put them in. But as you can see, it does not follow, you know, any theme other than, than the color. And it's fun. And like I said, this was just, um, these are just scraps, things I was throwing out. Some of it is junk mail that I painted over and created a base for me to put um, all of my things I've been collecting. But I think it's fun. There's a lot of nice ones out there that they're doing by themes. Really nice. But for some reason I'm just attracted to color. Not necessarily any particular thing. So that's why I went this way. Here's my green one. This was an old calendar. And a lot of things that I put in here too were things that people include um, in their swaps. And um, if they're small things, I put them in here. I also put like the postage that came with various um, envelopes. Like this was put on an envelope. Um, this is a handmade stamp I had made and that was my testing on tissue paper. This is some old jelly print I've done. That was on an envelope. And some area for me to come back and write. Or to glue more stuff. <laughs> Alrighty, then I have a beige one, and I have areas for journaling on this one as well. I got this paper, I'm sure you guys remember this from school, and um, I don't remember where I was. I'm trying to remember where I got this, but they had a big bundle of those big sheets that we used to have to learn how to write on, and the bundle must have been about more than two inches, maybe two and a half inches thick. 
and I guess it had been out in the sun or something, and the edges had just aged a little bit, and they were tossing it out. And I said, you guys are throwing this? And they said, yeah. So I took it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Why would I leave it there? So I have oodles of that paper that was being tossed out. Here's some more of it. I just got crazy and started putting it all over the place. Now this page I put upside down accidentally, but after I put some stuff on there, it looks okay. It's supposed to be a tree like that, but <laughs> who cares? So a lot of you, when you say, well, what are you going to do with those trashy journals? What's, well, sometimes we just like to leave them the way they are because, after all, the trash is another form of art. But um, you can also paint them up and either draw on them or collage on them. You know, put your, your little treasures in there, things you've been keeping, and that will be the place for, for them to call home. And I have one more that's complete. Is my blue one. Blue, actually, to tell you the truth, was the hardest one to do. Once I started collecting by colors, there's not a lot of blue out there. And I never realized that until I started to try to collect it. I like this one. He, you know, he doesn't have his eye, Mr. You know, pirate booty. And then I had these candies, they were these chocolates, that were covered up that looked like eyeballs. So I thought, well, he's got plenty to choose from. He's got from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, he can pick a different eye to put in there. But yeah, stop and think. Next time you look through some magazines and things, you're not going to find a lot of blue. And I did not realize that when I started my blue collection. So start collecting. You probably already have collections just in boxes and in envelopes, not knowing what to do with them. And this is what one of the many kinds of things you can do when you get your trashy journals together start filling them up with your little collections of things and they'll end up being quite lovely I hope you were inspired and I hope you make your journals and post them and let all of us be inspired by what you do too thanks